Today, the man accused of killing a dance student from Beaverton took the stand in a Texas courtroom in a move that surprised many. He testified about what he was doing on the University of Texas campus before Herrika Weiser's death. Now, Jennifer Dowling live now with more on exactly what happened in court. And this was a big surprise to see him take the stand today, Jennifer. It was. Legal experts said before trial it would be unlikely that Mikhail Kreimer would testify in his own defense, but he, took, he told his attorneys it was something that he wanted to do. So today in court, he was on the stand, laughing at times, acting friendly with the prosecution, telling the state's attorneys at one point he was trying to, quote, size them up. Kreiner talked about growing up in the foster system, saying he was abused and neglected and walked away from it. He admitted to staying in a University of Texas storage room on campus as he was homeless and also in the medical arts building. He denies killing Haraka Weiser, saying he wouldn't do anything against his morals. Still, even he admits he doesn't have a good alibi. A Weiser family supporter who was in court told reporters today they found inconsistencies in his statements. His um, testimony was different than the actual evidence. So we I do feel like he did trip up on his testimony this afternoon, um, and we're hoping that they will revisit that tomorrow. As for the fact that police say Kreiner was found with items that he allegedly, excuse me, allegedly connected him to the murder, a bike, a woman's boot, and a laptop, well, Kreiner says they came from trash bags he found the day after the murder happened. Kreiner was caught burning some of those items. He told jurors he was doing it for warmth, not to destroy evidence. Back to you.